Hola Raspberry Shakers, I'm Ian Nesbitt and I'm, uh, I'm going to be going over a little bit about RSUDP, um, our new suite of tools um, that essentially lets you interact with, um, with UDP data from your Raspberry Shake. Um, so this is a new toolbox that we wrote um, and just recently made public um, and it's a it's got um, some key features including a mini seed writer, um, a plotting algorithm that uses matplotlib, um, a forwarding um, mechanism where you can take data from a UDP stream and cast it to another um, another port and address, an alarm which um, essentially is a a triggering um, algorithm that um, takes a UDP stream and um, and calculates whether or not there's been a, an earthquake event or some sudden motion. Um, and then a sound that will play when a trigger is set off, for example. Um, so this is software that we're really excited about and we hope that, um, we hope that you are too. So I'm going to um, go through a little bit about um, about this and then I will um, tell you a little bit about how to install it. Um, so first of all, this, this installation is going to be on, um, on Mac OS and Linux or else um, other, you know, otherwise known as um, Unix machines. Um, so if you're a Windows user, don't worry, this is installable on, on Windows, but you will have to follow the, um, the directions on the README as we currently don't have a Windows Bash script for installation. So um, with that in mind, let's look at um, what this contains. So we've got um, a settings file that is written in, in JSON and essentially um, everything that you can configure about RSUDP is in here. Um, so this, this gets written um, to a specific location on your computer, um, and it's um, it's basically always going to be in your home folder in under .config. There's a .config folder on almost every machine, whether it's Windows or or Unix, um, and then slash rsudp slash um, rsudp underscore json. So um, dot json rather. So this this is where that that settings file is going to be written in. Um, anytime you want to change that default settings file, you will do it from that location. However, if you do want to create settings files that are different than the ones uh, than the default, you can use um, you can go to this using this software section, and um, we have commands that you, that will let you dump uh, another default settings file that you can edit um, and run anywhere. Um, and then we have instructions on how to run those. Uh, really quickly before we install, I want to show you a screenshot that, um, that this software took automatically of an earthquake um, that caused its, its alarm um, to be triggered. So this right here is a, is a, a detected event um, and the PNG of this event, the, the image of this um, got automatically saved. Um, because this was this exceeded the um, the limit for the filter that we set on the on the trigger. So um, very exciting. You can save um, PNG files of your earthquakes, and um, they look really great. We think so. Um, we hope you do too. Um, and without further ado, um, I will show you how to install the software. So I'm going to assume that you have. Um, Git already installed on your computer. Git is a, a versioning software that um, is fairly standard on most uh, most Unix machines, but um, you may not have it. You may have it. Um, if you don't have it, um, just look up how to install Git on Google, and you'll be good to go. So we're going to clone this repository right now, um, and it's going to download the the repository and then we will switch directories into that and then there is an installer file that is in there and we're going to use that so um, what I'm going to have you do is bash rs sorry bash unix 
install. And what that's going to do is it's going to ask you a couple of questions. Um, so this first one here is um, where would you like the, um, the program to actually save its, its data? Because it will be saving those PNG files. Um, it will be saving Miniseed if you choose to do so. Um, so by default, it's under your home directory and your username and also under, um, under RSUDP. So I'm just going to keep that because that's already, that already exists on my computer. If you want to change that, um, you, will, you can do so here. So right now it's going to um, download and install Miniconda. Conda is, a, Conda is a short for Anaconda, which is a, a Python framework that allows you to work um, with virtual environments and allows you to install a number of um, pieces of Python software without actually modifying your system Python, which is always a good idea. You don't typically want to modify the system Python because that will mess stuff up. Um, elsewhere in your, in your computer. So um, Anaconda, um, probably around 200 megabytes, and um, it may take a little while, so we'll come back in a little bit. Just in case you're worried, this installer script does actually look for um, existing Anaconda or Miniconda installations, or Berryconda um, if you're on a Raspberry Pi, um, installations on your computer. So if you already have a Conda installation in a, in a default location, uh, like under your home folder, then this, um, this actually will find that and use that as the base for installing um, the RSUDP environment. So um, we're almost done here. And when it gets done, it's going to install the, um, the base Conda environment, and then it'll install the RSUDP um, environment on top of that. Now it's going to ask you um, if you would like to append a sourcing line to your bash RC file. Um, this, what this does is essentially uh, it allows you to um, run Anaconda just by typing conda if you're at a terminal. Um, you don't necessarily need to do this because if you run this software with the, with the startup script um, you can actually, you don't actually, it'll, it'll find the Anaconda installation for you and it'll do all the work of, of actually sourcing for you. So unless you um, plan on, on running this software um, in a more sophisticated way than just, just running it, um, you don't necessarily need to, um, to do this sourcing step. So we're going to, um, we're going to proceed because um, just to show you how that works. Okay, now that we have installed the um, RCDP software um, and it has created a new settings file for me at um, in my .config directory under RCDP and RCDP underscore settings, um, it will it will be ready to run essentially. So that's where our next video will pick up um, with essentially at this, this um, point right here. Thank you for watching and please um, feel free to like and, like and subscribe and also um, view the next video. Thank you very much.